Today's activity focuses on the color wheel. The color wheel is an organization of colors around a circle that shows the relationship between primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. For today's activity, we are inspired by the mandala. Mandalas first appeared in the first century BCE. Mandalas have been used in various spiritual traditions, beginning with Buddhism. They have a center point, vivid colors, and utilize radial symmetry. Radial symmetry is a type of balance in which the parts of an object are regularly arranged and radiate from a central point. To begin, we're going to use a bowl for a circle outline. Then we're going to measure and turn that circle into 12 perfect radial sections. Radial means it comes out from a center point in a circular fashion. To begin our color wheel mandala, I'm going to darken this circle in the dead center. In each pie section, I'm going to create a shape and do the same shape in each section. You can fill in with any type of pattern you like. The important thing for this lesson is we're creating five different circular sections. We will be painting over the lines, but not too thickly. Some of the design will show through, but don't worry about it being perfect. Now our mandala is drawn. It has a radial geometric shape. The next step in our color wheel mandala, it's helpful to number the different sections so you can remember which color goes where. Our first primary color that we're going to do is red. Begin with red and white on a palette. And we're gonna put this in our number one slot. Adjust the page so that you're comfortable, and with your true red, paint the first section that you drew, which for me are these petal shapes. Over on our palette, we're gonna dip our brush into red and bring that red over to a different well. With my brush, I'm going to bring in a bit of white and add it to my red. When I mix these together, it should make a softer shade of red closer to a pink. I'm going to add this hue to the next section of my mandala. This is about the time that I realized that I had a brush that was much too thick, so I will be switching later to a smaller brush. We're going to complete the process again by bringing the second color into a new well and adding white to create a lighter hue. We're going to take that third hue and apply it to our third section in our pie piece. Complete the process again until you have five hues ranging from dark red to light red. Looking back over at our palette, you can see a nice transition from true red to light pink. We're gonna repeat the process with our other two primary colors, yellow and blue, with one color being in the number five slot and one being in the number nine slot.
Now we're going to create our secondary colors. Our secondary colors are created when you take two of the three primary colors and mix them equally to create orange, purple, and green. Purple is created when we combine equal parts red and blue. So I'm going to make the purple slot in between my red and blue sections, leaving a space in between. Just like with our primary colors, we're going to be adding bits of white to create five different shades going from dark purple to light. Green is created when you mix equal parts yellow and blue. So we'll be adding this in between our yellow and blue sections, leaving a gap in between. Our last secondary color is created by combining red and yellow in order to create orange. You might be less familiar with our next set of colors. Tertiary colors are created when we combine a secondary color plus a primary. In this case, we have orange mixed with red, which means red-orange, and orange plus yellow, which means yellow-orange. There can be many, many shades in between your secondary and primaries, depending on how much of each color you put in. So with those base tertiary colors, we're going to create more pie sections ranging from our darkest value to our lightest. Our next tertiary colors are green plus blue, which will equal blue-green, and green plus yellow, which will equal yellow-green. We'll add these colors starting at our darkest value to our lightest in our pie sections. Our last set of tertiary colors combines purple plus blue, which will equal blue-purple, and purple plus red, which will equal red-purple. And that completes your color wheel mandala. It takes a lot of blending and a lot of practice, but hopefully you created something beautiful. Making more videos soon to look at the other relationships using the color wheel. I hope you had fun creating your mandala color wheel. This is Chelsea Young with the Mulberry Cultural Center. We will be adding more videos soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.